I'm just feeling into the email you sent me. And there was some sort of identification with the with the body mind. Yeah. And how that seems to present itself for you. So <laughs> everything falls away when we sit here, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're talking about some make-believe thing <laughs> yeah yeah so every time i fall back into identifying with the body mm. Mm. just look at that when i fall back into identity yeah who's falling back into identity without going to the mind you see how you flick to the mind then so we look for direct experience so there is just this open view, dropping down, down, down. You know, this is our ground of being where we can just unplug from the mind, mental, physical, and emotional, from this rising up of an I am with a story to the um, sinking down into this just being, just I am. And this I am is a portal. You know, if one way it sort of opens up to this manifestation of a, you know, how we can create. And then the other way is this opening towards the dissolving of the I am to the space that's opened up when we rest. And attention on just being because this being is universal all the appearances once we turn within it's all the same one being it's a universal being and that being can rise up as an i am and have a separate self experience but when we turn to turn inwards and we focus on this sense of just being this amnes. There's this felt sense that it's just a, a universal amnes. It's not a personal amnes. And this chance to rest home and to see this is impersonal awareness. And this is where we do inquiry from, from the truth of our being turning towards this open space of absolute reality where the I am drops down, down, down into being, the pure being. And even words are born out of this being. But there's a dominant silence here. And this is the truth of your being. This is what you are. The I rises up out of this. You remain as this. But you there's a manifestation from here of an eye and an experience of an eye, but you never become that eye. Always remain as this ocean of being, this impersonal being. The thoughts, the feelings, the sensations of an eye rise up here, but they come and go. What you are is abiding. You are the uh, awareness of it all, this impersonal awareness. It remains neutral, has an experience of, of rising up and a separate self-experience, but actually we don't go anywhere. We can't leave this. It's what we are. We can't become anything else because this is what we are. All of those are just temporary experiences, like waves on the ocean. And they can be this temporary view, this unique individual view 
But if we identify with that, then, then that's what we get, an individual unique view. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just to fully recognize the truth of our being. That this I am can get tangled up with the separate self experience, can be taken to be a true identity, but in reality, it's just a mistaken identity because what we are is the, the witnessing presence, the, um, because that's dominant, that's always there. That's the truth of your being because it doesn't come and go. It's there prior to thought and after thought. So it's to turn and recognize this, to be aware of, of this awareness, to turn inwards, to fully see that the truth of your being is this <gasps> open space of being, freedom. You are free from the mind. Thoughts have no power without your attention. So there's a little bit. Is that just an open view you're doing there? Or are you going to a mind? Is this the landscape view? So there is, um, you know, I just asked earlier, you know, who's falling into identity here? Can we find that one? Can we find the the this idea of a me that's falling into identity? It's leaving this. Are they here? Are they actually here? Can we find them? No. no. So is it just an experience this has? Yeah. Can you leave what you are? No. Can you become anything else other than what you are? No. No. It can be a dancing. There can be a rising up and an experience of an eye, just like a fountain bursting up. But you are the um, the foundation. You are the um, the ground of being in which it arises and falls. Like you say, you're you're viewing it. You're able to to see that this is your primary position. The impersonal awareness. You know, prior to thoughts, there's just silence. There's just mm. being. It's dominant, it's just silence. Yeah. That's what you are. The recognition of that. You, you can't not be this. It's so so obvious and so normal. It's what you are. You feel that, sense that. It's so natural and so normal. We miss this fundamental ground of being because it's our everyday experience. Mm. And the mind's looking for something, looking for um, an experience, an awakening, a um, altered something because the mind's in the mental realm of contrasting and comparing. This is prior so the mind doesn't get it because the mind isn't in here. We have to create a mind and experience it. What's here is just this neutral space in which thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations, sounds all appear equally because this isn't personal. Yeah. This is impersonal awareness that can experience on a personal level but never become it. It's just an experience it can have. But only through personalization. Only through believing in this separate self that exists, but it doesn't exist. There's not two positions, there's only your true self shaping and patterning itself. And this true self is impersonal. It's a universal. It's like, you know, we're this same one universal self appearing as two, never becoming two, just like two waves on the ocean experience it. But fundamentally, that ground of being, that ocean, is the same ocean. We're the same one ocean. So yes, there can be a, a thought, my body, my mind, my tired, I'm tired. They're all um, thoughts appearing 
They're all invitations to experience separation. They're neutral until we adopt an identity and I that's annoyed about them, that has a problem with them, that wants to resist them, doesn't like this, I don't like this, I don't want this. I need this situation to be different. And all of that chatter is actually, you know, showing you that there's something resisting the present mm -hmm. moment. There's something rising up that doesn't like what's happening. There's an idea of a separate self that's against what's happening. And that's that's just a, a call home. Whenever that rises up, oh, hang on a minute, let's just choose in separation let's just have a look here there was an experience of separation but what's always here is just this dominant piece this underlying depth of being in which everything arises so this is temporary in you are the depth so there's a temporary experience oh hang on a minute what's actually here you recognize the truth of your being over and over again till it's undeniable and it's here so there's no the thoughts can arise here in this neutral space that can come and go. But because there's no I here in being, we're not pulled. We're not believing in an I. Because we're not in the mental realm here. There's no sense of an I. There's no identification. It's just to recognize that this is the truth. But you said uh, once there's a switch, like the background became the foreground. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you see how that's an experience the mind's looking for? Yeah. It's just but when thought. you talk now, I I can feel that background, but it's like it's so close to the eye that wants to pop up. Mm. It's so close to the movie, and I have to... Uh, no, I don't have to, but I'll <laughs> go back again yeah. and again. Yeah, that's to it. Make the Just go back again and again. What's true? What's true? What's true? Yeah. Just rest as I am. No matter yeah. what comes up, you just be faithful to the I amness, yeah. the beingness. So this keeps coming up and down. You're just faithful here. Yeah. What are you going to choose? This is going to be. This for you seems to be just getting louder and louder because the the call home is so loud now. Yeah. So, and this is all a story because you're already home. Can you feel it? <laughs> this is yeah. it. <laughs> so it's so normal. We're looking, the mind, you bounce up to a mind. The mind's going to say, well, this can't be it. This can't be what I've been looking for. This is from 10, 12, 21. There was something that didn't change. Just your sense of being doesn't age. It's timeless. Yep. That's who you are. And it's right here now. Yeah. Can you feel that? That's it. That is your true nature. Everybody's <laughs> we're looking for a, a flip and a thing and a you know, we have to be really careful when we talk about experiences because then people then the mind starts looking for that, a shift, a change. And what we're all saying is, oh, oh, it was what was always here. So the only change is that is that we turn inwards and recognize, oh, oh, it was always here. You mean just this? That I've always been that was labeled len your parents labeled it len and then there was experiences attached to an idea of a len and that became your identity but it was only ever this yeah len came afterwards <laughs> yeah, it's funny isn't it yeah but i also seen asked you um about doing something to improve the body and I think it's a. I feel it's okay as long as I don't have an attachment to the outcome. Like Eckhart Tolle, he had cancer and he had cancer treatment, of course, but he didn't well, mind it to die or not. Mm. So, so that's yeah. I just felt into it, and I see it. Okay, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't matter, but I, I can try this treatment. So, it's okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Anything. So for the for the physical body, yeah, it's not like yeah. you just think, well, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. I'm not going to exercise. I'm not I'm going to eat rubbish. It doesn't matter. I'm not the physical body. No, no, it's your vehicle. So yeah. you're going to look after it. But it's, it's not who you are. It's the identification that is the problem. Yeah, it's not who you are. 
it's a, mm. your vehicle it's yeah. something that you can experience it's not fundamentally who you are it's just okay. a tool of experience but in reality it's it's manifested out of nosing because when we do that experiment where we can't find the boundaries of the body it's only here if we create it yeah we start labeling it it's actually just space it's so weird because i know when you talk about it i know i feel everything around yeah. just yes that's true is one yeah yeah and then we just create but, an idea of a body mind to experience yeah but i also feel that i get pulled in by being too much with other people talking mm -hmm. much about self-improvement and be a better person so who gets pulled in these are the things to see not to go to a mind to to literally have a look who is getting pulled in nobody huh yeah that's a rising up of an eye that's got something to say about being pulled in can you see it nobody is getting pulled in anyone it's just an experience there's no eye there is no eye no. can you see that it's not here yeah. it's only here if we create it can you see that and then I, I don't find it interesting to talk about anymore the, the person yeah. to be a that doesn't person. matter no. no all of that no it doesn't matter no you can you have no no resistance on the moment so if people are talking about improving themselves who would have a problem with that the self wouldn't mm. no the i may have a problem with that yeah the i doesn't exist the <laughs> i is just an experience People can shape and pattern however they like it. So in the so talking of Keith and the Course of Miracles, which you know I I just he's brilliant. I really enjoy listening to him. Yeah. You know it has no meaning until the meaning we give it. Mm. Projecting onto what's happening. So if you don't yeah. project a meaning, it's just dancing. It's just sounds. It's just you know. And then you can create whatever meaning. How wonderful these people are talking. Look at life just talking yeah. to itself. Wonderful. <laughs> you know you can. If you want to project, project that. Yeah, I just do <laughs> exactly that. And yeah, as you well, there said, you go. When I lay down, I, I think you said, I don't understand words. I don't understand mm. anything. Language. Nothing I see, mm -hmm. I know what is. And it's it's freeing in a way. Well, it is because you're not creating separation. You're just in that unity, yeah. Yeah. Because it's all born out of labels and, you know, and I, well, the first thing to rise up is the idea of an eye that then labels everything. And then, then you're in opposition and it's either good or bad. And it's the judgment of the mind. Is this good or is this bad? It's just a tool and yeah. it's just to unplug. We don't need to be plugged in. There is going to be a sensation and we could be called tiredness. Yeah, That's it. It's been labelled tiredness. We can peel away the label and just allow. It's just not to resist tiredness. So there's an experience that we call tired. We've been taught that's tiredness. And we just peel away the label. Hmm. It's as if it suddenly just got a bit lighter. Because it's now not called that. It's now just... We don't Experience. have a language. Even that, peel that off. We just allow it to be there. We just keep peeling like anything that wants to form. You just keep peeling off as if you don't have language for it. Sensational want to come out. Just peel it off. But you're not pushing it away. You're not trying to fix it, change it, improve it, resist it. You just open. I miss that. Yeah, just watching because that's. When I feel down, I see the invitation coming in. So I have to watch very carefully. So who's watching carefully? <laughs> oh, there's an eye. That's okay. There's an awareness of thoughts appearing and disappearing. Yeah. They're not actually coming in. We're just starting to create a little story of an eye that they're coming into and we've got to fight them and I'm going to not engage with them and I've got all this to do. There's no doer. Mm. There's no doer. There's just being. Everything's effort, 
effortlessly coming and effortlessly leaving unless we pay attention and then have an experience unless we're believing in an eye that can experience all of this they're all just waves on the ocean just blowing through or like clouds in the sky just coming and going effortlessly the sky isn't causing them to come and go they're just passing through they're just invitations to experience but we've awoken to the game now just not interested just disinterested yeah. yeah just it's as if you're full up at the banquet it's a huge banquet and you're absolutely full up and things are being delivered to you and you're like no thanks i'm full i've already eaten thank you you just wouldn't start you wouldn't pick up a plate and start eating if you're completely full and satisfied you didn't have any sweet cravings or nothing it was all just tons of food and you were like actually I, I have eaten already. I, I don't. I don't need this. That's what the thoughts are like. I just don't need yeah. them. You know, there's going to be valid thoughts, practical thoughts, and they just. But these, I, me, my thoughts, are um, just thoughts. Yeah. Not your thoughts. They're just thoughts. They're neutral, completely neutral. We just have the ability to make them personal and experience on a personal level, but there is no I <laughs> until we create it. There's no mind until we create it. There's no separate self-experience until we create it. So we're actually creating it all, projecting a meaning onto everything. I think Keith again says it has purpose to wake us up. It has no meaning. Only the meaning we give it. We can just remain neutral. Yeah. And once we've fully recognised the truth of our being, that there is no I, then we get to create from fullness. Yeah. But just the joy of creating, just following your joy, walking in the forest, playing with the dog, yeah. going to yoga, looking after the body, eating healthily, but um, no, um, no stickiness. No um, end game. No agenda. Because you're not the body mind. It's a creation. Yeah. Something we create. Just a vehicle. So we service the vehicle and look after it, but it's not who we are. Just a tool. It's it's, it's like there's two kind of energies: the body energy that we fuel with food and take care of the exercise and, mm -hmm. and that's just a small <laughs> energy <laughs> it's a much vaster field of energy i feel you see i think i think what happens here is there's a call to eat there's eating if there's a call to not there's not there's a call i don't even pay attention no i tend to like healthy food so i eat healthy food yeah. it's just the tendency of this body yeah. If I eat something sweet, I eat something sweet. Yeah. There's no mental overlay about it. No shoulds and shouldn'ts. No. Mm -hmm. I remember right at the beginning that I did sort of just, I was like, wow, I'm just free. I can eat whatever I like. <laughs> I can have a drink, a glass of wine. I mean, that all fell away. But I remember at one point thinking, well, wow. That mental overlay wasn't there. Yeah. The shoulds and shouldn't. It was quite interesting. I had that experience um, in the late 90s. I had an eating disorder. And I moved to the northern part of Norway to study. And I decided when I move, this is going to end. Because that was a mental overlay. That was very, 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 very negative. Consuming. Yeah. And it stopped them. Wow. And the energy boost, it, it was like an extreme contraction in the body. So mm. when I just let that go and I start every evening talk post positive stories to myself, I had to start with that to another mm. overlay of the thoughts. Yeah. And I had so extremely 
loads of energy so i had to walk every night but i was free i was happy it was you're free because like, it wasn't zapping your energy because when no. we've got these negative thoughts and this idea of a me that's yeah. got to do this and it's got to control everything and it's got to yeah that's exhausting yeah 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 but i see i have this i see these patterns like david began to talk of you fueling the frequency that you pick up yeah if that's yeah, negative well, thoughts that I it's have just to an experience. my body. There's no, yeah. there's no you doing anything wrong. Let's just no. look at the reality of this. There's no yeah. you doing anything wrong. You give uh, and a that's break. the difference now because I, I, I don't get that ticket that I'm, that I'm doing anything wrong anymore. Yeah. I see yeah. the invitation, and when ah, I start it's just with, an invitation. Yeah, and yeah. I, when I start with, um, I wish I could do more with my body. Then there is a resistance to what is. Yeah. And if I continue that way, it gets more like a depression. Yeah, because you still, you, you picked up a pattern now and now there's yeah. a story about the resistance. Oh, I shouldn't be resisting this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It just gets, yeah. Then we've got a thought forms and experience and the experience just sort of, so we just get pulled into the experience. Yeah. And it's hard to yeah. see the bigger picture because we're in it. We've accepted the invitation and now we've got a story running and it's until you get spat out yeah. that's going to be your experience. Yeah. That's just yeah. how this creates. Yeah. And you did a wonderful job in the early 90s, I think you said, yeah. of um, undoing have, that, unraveling yeah, it. Yeah, and that's why I connect to you because when it's suddenly I hear your voice, you already, you already that. You already mm. it. Mm. And it just helps me go back. Yeah, because it's because it's recognizing because you mm -hmm. recognize that's when we first came on the call. It's like bang, everything falls, yeah. and I'm like, what are we even going to talk about? Because yeah. we're <laughs> both here in unity, so we, we almost have to create it to talk about it. Create it, the email that happened, yeah, the story about what was in the. Can you see how we're creating it all to talk about it? In reality, it's just this, yeah. And it's just this chance to see. But I this. think also the illness is what's brought me to seek in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's the wake uh, up. Yeah, I think a lot of people will recognize that they're caught in the story of me being ill or me being so tired or mm. Mm. when, when, yeah, as a starting point for seeking and thinking it's not supposed to be like this yeah yeah but this is you just have had enough of it you can't bear it yeah. any longer yeah yeah and that's 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 the self waking itself up the suffering yeah. but i had the same one must be another way when you said uh, we can with look at the email i i couldn't remember anything that was no. that I <laughs> you see how the potential of the moment is there's nothing here <laughs> let me see and my husband said, are you, are you, you forget everything. I, I, I don't remember <laughs> what I did yeah. five minutes ago. Oh, uh, okay. So you're already, oh, so that means you haven't got the mental overlay. Yeah. That's fixing the idea of a me doing everything. I'm going for a walk. I'm picking up my keys. I've got this. I've got that. It's labeling. And if you haven't got that, I'm winging. Yeah. It's swinging in and out. That's all it is. And there's nobody swinging in and out. No, but when he said something says something to me like oh you're so forgetful then the i i can see What's that i answer? want to go yeah. up and defend itself that you can just witness it wanting to rise and you don't have to engage with it no so you've already got that distance from from it rising up and down it's just it seems to be there's a few sticky ones yeah around physicality yeah. So it's to see there's no, two, there's not two positions, which was a bit sticky for me when I was doing this. So I think you've already had your self realization and you're just falling asleep. Or you're resting in it, not realizing you're resting in it. Not, have you fully seen that this is who you are? Is there a recognition? This is always here. It's what you are. Yeah. Are you believing that or is there a voice telling you you're not? Maybe I'm not quite sure. 
So who would not be sure? Don't go to the mind. Empty. So, back to this is the truth of your being. Have you fully recognized that? And there's no I recognizing it. There's nothing to get here. Nothing to be gained. We're not getting anything. It's already here. It's just, it's just this. I can feel it, but I can't verbalize it. It's already here. And there's a tendency to a thought to take you away. But the recognition is this. I don't know. <laughs> the recognition is this. It's like this that's already here almost turns in on itself and says, ah, oh. Uh, potentially it's awareness aware of itself. So you're aware, yeah? Just now, you're just aware. It's not not complicated, you're just aware. And that awareness is, a, so there's something that's aware that you're aware. Stay with that. There's something that's aware, it's aware. <laughs> you see that? There's something that's aware, it's aware. I feel like heaven has just by two. So let's not get too into experience and what's happening. Mm. There's something that's aware, it's aware. So you're aware. And you're aware that you're aware. It's just awareness, aware of itself. Pardon? I see the mind try to... Yeah, there's an awareness of thoughts. Mm. There's no mind until we create one. So there's an awareness of thoughts, feelings, sensations, but there's something that's there prior to all of it. And you're aware of that awareness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just aware of awareness. You're just aware. That's it. Yeah. Impersonal awareness. That's what you are. There's just a recognition that you are aware. Of being aware. That, that's it. Because you're already resting here. You're already walking around here. Everybody is. But there is a belief in an eye. Now it seems as if it rises up and it goes down. There's this wavering. <laughs> But at the same time, this chance to see that this is what you are. That you're just awareness aware of itself, fundamentally. And it's so normal and simple that we almost jump over it, looking for the flip, the, the yeah. experience. Yeah. When it's plain, it's like literally what you've always been. So it's it's closer than close. Yeah, and I see the invitation. No, yeah. this awareness of an invitation. You don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Yeah, that's all that is. Can you see that? It's just a neutral yeah. invitation, a neutral thought. Who who are the thoughts coming to? Space. Who would some... be picking up thoughts? So let's not add a word. I want you to directly experience who are the thoughts coming to. So don't add a word space. Directly experience who are the thoughts coming to. You just directly experience that. Who are the thoughts coming to? And I would offer there's nothing here. Not coming to anything. There's nothing. There's silence. <laughs> Can you see? Mm. They're not coming to anybody. There's nobody picking them up. No. Can you see that? Yeah. 
There's nobody picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody. <laughs> Who would be picking them up? <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's thoughts arising because they're not coming to wow. anybody. They're not coming to anybody. They're just. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody here. There's nobody to pick them up, is there? When you look. No, nobody. Nobody's receiving thoughts. Nobody's getting pulled down. In reality, there's nobody here. There's no I. <laughs> oh, it's it's too easy. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what the mind's going to offer up. It can't be that easy. It can't just be this no. that's always been here, that's there every day. <laughs> Because if it's your true self, of course it's here all the time. Of course you're already it. <laughs> How could you not be? It's just the the belief in an eye that gets pulled out. But I think you saw that then. That like actually, who's 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 picking up thoughts? <laughs> don't worry. Don't look for any changes because it's always <laughs> been here. The mind's going to say, "Well, it should look different. There should be some shift." Yeah. But that's just thoughts. Because if it's always been here, if it's what you are, of course it's not going to be. That doesn't mean it doesn't reveal itself more and more when we're not picking up this thoughts. And when I say when we're not picking up thoughts, there's nothing here. To, it's just that we created this experience. There's no I. Yeah. There's some sense there's no I here, is there? It's impersonal awareness. Formless impersonal awareness. <laughs> <laughs> There's some freedom here. Yeah. No grasping, no needing to get anything. <laughs> so simple, huh? And just rest in being, not that we ever go anywhere. But our attention. It's just in being. Yeah. There's some recognition happened here, I think. Because yeah. <laughs> even when you said I and then you corrected yourself, it wasn't a sticky I. <laughs> it was yeah. just this I is universal. When we say I now, it's this I am. Yeah. It's this universal I am, isn't it? Yeah, what it was this awareness. It was further away, sort of. The thoughts was not coming like yeah. into yes yeah. yeah there's distance yeah there, you, there's the ocean of being now rather than i am being yeah the i am drops and there's just an ocean of being and then they appear like waves in the ocean nobody's yeah. doing them they're neutral they're just appearing in because yeah. who are they coming to <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny once you see it you're like Oh, hang on a minute, there's no I <laughs> that they're coming to that's going to get pulled out. So it said, I fall in, into identity. Who would that be? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. I can't find that one. <laughs> maybe we'll check in because I've got to go now, but maybe yeah. we'll check in together later on this afternoon and see how it's going. Yeah. Just, yeah, that's just, all right. No, I have WhatsApp, just, so... Check in. We stay in yeah. touch. Yeah, we just check in and we can yeah. just see what's up. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'll speak to you yeah. later, yeah? Yeah. All right, my darling. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.